And so we reach the final section of our model deep dive. We've seen how we get data into the model and how calculations transform it into a data-rich expression. Now we're gonna look at how we take all of that data and summarize it into a small number of actionable and intelligible measures and statistics. These include the famous token metrics that you frequently see being discussed online and which are highlighted in investor materials. In the context of an IDO and IEO, these metrics are the total supply, the total number of tokens being created at Genesis, and in the most common designs, this is also the maximum number of tokens that will ever exist, the total vesting period, the total vesting term for all allocations when viewed as a whole, which tells us when the last token in that initial total supply is released. The initial circulating supply, the number of tokens that will be circulating on the listing date, the initial market cap, the market capitalization given by that initial circulating supply at the price of the highest investment round. And finally, the fully diluted valuation or FDV. This is the market cap of all tokens at the price of each investment round. So back in the model, here on the disclosures tab, we can see that we are stating those key metrics very clearly and simply. The total supply, total vesting period, initial circulating supply, and initial market cap. And over here on the right in the second table, we have FDVs for our three rounds currently in the model seed, private, and public, with the FDVs there on the right. So what we're going to do now is not just to look at how these metrics are calculated, but really focus on what they mean and how investors read them, because that's the understanding that's gonna allow you to read these data the way that they do and understand what their interests and concerns are around these metrics so that you understand how you may need to move them around in order to get your deal over the line.